Hey friends, this is KeyX, and today I want to quickly show you how I built a sidechain envelope follower in Cubase with the help of ReasonRack plugin. I am using the standard version of the plugin here, but you can achieve the exact same thing with the light version, which has been given away for free um, several times in the past. And if you have a Focusrite or um, Novation hardware, you can grab a copy right now until November 19th, um, which I highly recommend doing. So now let's listen to what I have here first without the effect. Okay, so now with the effect, um, pay attention to how the EQ shape is mimicking the drum hits. So to build this effect, first of all, you need to put the reason rack on the channel that you want to modulate. In this case, I want to modulate the frequency of the bass to the rhythm of the drums. So um, I put an instance of reason rack on the bass channel. Next, you want to turn on sidechain. Uh, it is the symbol right here. Okay, um, and then what you need to do is you need a an M class compressor and an M class EQ and then you want to combine them okay and so the compressor here is you're not going to use the compressor to compress your audio but the reason why we need a compressor here is that the compressor in uh, Reason is capable of generating an envelope follow uh, CV output right here. If you pay close attention, you can you can see a gain reduction CV out right here, and this is the CV output that we're going to use to modulate our parameters right here. Um, okay, so you want to route the sidechain signal to the audio input of the compressor. Um, and this sidechain signal, uh, in this case, we're gonna use the drums as a sidechain signal. And the main signal, the main input is the bass input. Um, we, wanna, uh, we want it to go to the EQ. And the EQ, we want it to go out to the combinator input. And combinator output goes to the main. Cool. Um, so let me just double check on these. Yeah, looks great. Okay, so let's test if uh, to see if we are having audio right now. Yeah, we're having audio right now. And as you can see, the compressor is starting to compress something here, but it is not the bass. It is in fact the drums because I have um, routed the drums to um, this sidechain uh, reason rack uh, before so as you can see it um, it is showing the peaks uh, of the volume the volume peaks of the drums and if we lower the threshold it's gonna let more of um, that signal in okay uh, so now we want that gain reduction CV out to go to the CV input, CV1 input of the combinator. Cool. So now we can start using the CV1 to modulate parameters of the EQ. So for example, uh, if now we want to use a high pass filter like this and we want to modulate the frequency of the EQ um, by the movement of, 
of the drums that the compressor detects, then we need to use CV1 here to modulate the frequency of the low. And as you can see, um, the frequency is start, starting to move. And obviously you can use, uh, oh, and one very important thing too, is that you want this CV uh, signal to be um, unipolar, not bipolar. So you need to switch this down here to utilize the full range of this frequency. Otherwise, it's only going to be from here to here. And now you can start uh, messing with the min and max of um, this modulator. And you can see that it is affecting the range of motion of this knob. And you can use um, the attack and release to affect um, how quickly this knob turns around uh, as well. Um, it'll be easier to, to look at it and listen to it rather than me explaining it. So uh, I'll do just that. So yeah, that's how you can build a sidechain um, envelope follower in the Reason Rack to use in Cubase. And of course, in this case, we're applying it to an EQ slash filter, but you can use the same technique um, to apply it on a distortion, reverb, delay, all kinds of different stuff. Um, so I hope that this opens up some creative options for you. If you're into electronic music, I just released my new EP on Mr. Bill's label, Beligo Beats. And if you want to check it out, all of the links are down below. I hope you learned something in this video and thank you for watching.